the story of Prophet Yaqub alayhi salam. Do you remember those angels who visited Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam? Yes, they informed the Prophet that Sarah, even though she was old, would give birth to a son. The words of the angels soon came to be true. Sarah gave birth to a son. The Prophet named him Ishaq alayhi salam. The son of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam grew up and he was one of God's messengers as well. Ishaq alayhi salam got married to Rebecca and they soon had twins. Ishaq alayhi salam named them Esau and Yaqub. The elder son was Esau and grew up to become a strong man. He was a good hunter too. But Yaqub was more intelligent and he was his father's favorite. The brothers fought with each other a lot. Esau disliked the fact that his father favored Yaqub more than him. Esau became more and more jealous as they grew. As Ishaq grew old, he started losing his sight. The old prophet realized that he was going to die soon. He felt like eating meat for one last time. So he asked his eldest son to hunt some wild meat for him. Esau agreed and went hunting for the meat. Rebecca, his mother, had overheard this conversation. She ran to her younger son, who she favored and told him, Slaughter two goats of your best flock and cook them as soon as you know your father will like. Go and do this before your brother returns. Naqub did as his mother had ordered. His mother then asked him to put on his brother's clothes to make him smell like Esau. Then she covered his hands and neck with goatskin. She asked him to do this as Esau was very hairy. She also asked him to speak like his brother. Then Yaqub stepped into his father's room. Who are you? asked Ishaq salam. I am your son, replied Yaqub in a deep voice. His father then started eating the food. Once he finished his food, he felt satisfied. The old prophet then blessed Yaqub to be the better brother and to become the leader of his people. Once he got the blessings, he left the room. After some time, Esau walked in with the meat and entered his father's room. What is this, my son? The prophet asked when he heard Esau's footsteps. I've brought you the meat you like. The old prophet was confused now. Didn't you bring me the food some time ago? He asked him. I also gave you my blessings. No, I did not, Esau said. It was then that he realized that his brother had cheated him. He felt so angry that he wanted to kill Yaqub right away. Rebecca saw that Esau was going to kill his brother. So she went to Yaqub and ordered him to go to her brother Laban in the land of Haran. She asked him to stay there until his brother was not angry at him anymore. Yaqub obeyed his mother and started his journey towards Haran. He walked by foot under the hot desert sun. One evening, he got very tired of walking and decided to get some rest. He took a stone and put it under his head and slept. That night, he saw an amazing dream. He dreamed of a staircase from heaven to earth. He saw angels coming down and going up the staircase. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed Yaqub and this piece of land for his future generations. When he woke up, he realized 
that it was not just a dream. He had been really blessed by God. He took a vow that if he was ever to return to his family, he would build a mosque here for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He also vowed to give one-tenth of his property to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He placed the stone he used to sleep on in order to recognize this place when he came back later. He poured oil on it. This place is today known by the name of Jerusalem. Yaqub then walked toward Haran. He walked for many days and he finally arrived in Haran. Yaqub then met his maternal uncle Laban and introduced himself. When his uncle realized that Yaqub was the son of his sister, he was very happy. He invited him to his house and introduced his daughters, Leah and Rachel. The Prophet didn't want to sit idle, so he started working hard for Laban. While he stayed at his uncle's house, he fell in love with his uncle's younger daughter. The Prophet told Laban about his love for Rachel. Work for me for seven years, he said, and I will let you marry my daughter. The Prophet agreed. Yaqub worked hard for the next seven years. Laban reaped the rewards because of the hard work of the Prophet. His wealth had increased manifold by now. The seven years were over, and as promised, Laban made arrangements for the wedding. He prepared a feast and gathered people for the wedding. But Laban cheated. Instead of Rachel, he got his elder daughter married to Yaqub. Yaqub didn't know about this, and he discovered the truth only in the morning. The Prophet realized that he had been cheated. You deceived me, he said to Laban. I was engaged to Rachel, and you married me to Leah? It was for a reason, said Laban. It is not in our tradition to marry the younger daughter before the elder one. However, he added, if you love Rachel, work for another seven years and I will let you marry her. Yaqub worked hard for another seven years. And finally, he got to be married to Rachel. They lived together happily.